Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to explore how to consume REST APIs in web methods. We will cover get and post method in this session. So let's begin. First we will see the get get REST service. So we are going to consume this service which gives the result of mobiles. So let's see how we can consume get service first. So go to your designer. Let's create a quick let's quickly create a service called get mobile data now to consume the now to consume the rest service we have a service inbuilt service called http so we are going to invoke the http service now here we can see that we have parameters or input as url method load as we'll see all these things so first we'll copy our url and we'll hard code the url and this method as get so we'll select get and then we'll see whether this is working or not okay so here we can see that we got the 200 that means it is working fine and but our result comes in the byte format so now we have to convert this byte to our human readable form so how we can do that we'll simply add a branch step to check whether the service is working fine or not as in whether the service status is 200 or not here we will check I'll put header status two hundred, and then if the service is successful, and then what we will do, we will convert our output. That means byte to the string. We will use the string service, which is byte to string so this service will convert sorry this service will convert byte data into the string so but this string is not a normal string this is a json string so now we will add one more service which convert json string to document so now here we will use json 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 string to the document and string map string to this and here this is document now we will see whether are we getting the result or not so here we can see that the result is coming but now okay so this is a array so that's why if integration server does not find any root element so what it will do it will automatically add dollar root array so that we can consume or we can use this values into our next consecutive services so this way we can consume get api so now we will see how we can consume the post api so to consume the post api let's simply create a service called post test now we are going to call the same http http service for that We have to pass the input parameters as well so what we will do we will simply create a human type by using this input so first we will save json okay. input dot json
so first we will create the document type post input select json input finish and in here we'll drag this document reference we'll select doc type as post input Just input to tree and save now we will create a map step first Now we have to first convert our document into the JSON. So how do we do that? We will add a service called document to JSON. Now here we will post input to this and this is a json string now we will add url here method as post and then data as string will give json string here save this now we will try to test whether we are getting a body or not name as test year as Give anything. So here we can see that we are getting result back in bytes. So let's check whether this byte is this or not. So we will simply copy our bunch step, save the time paste it here now we'll test whether we are getting the json result or not we'll use the same input and we'll see so we have to check the document so here we got the error which is called the unsupported media type so um, okay so that means this is error so here we have to give in header we have to add parameter like insert string which is content type should be application slash json now we'll try now it is successful and here we can see that getting the string result in a json format here we can see that so i hope you got the point and you understand how to call the get api and the post api by using http client 
so if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe and if you have any comment or questions then please do let me know in the comment section thank you